Hey guys, sorry I didn't put a video up yesterday. Um, I was caught up working on uh, on the space, finishing up after the show because Friday and Saturday we had um, Friday and Saturday night we had sound effects art opening nights here, and it was a really great time. I'll talk about that in a second. But um, and then yesterday morning I went to uh, to Urban, had orientation, met a bunch of cool people. I'm really excited about that. I'm trying to get in with the Fitum crowd for a while, and I finally met like three or four people from Fitum, and actually. I met three people, three other people from Sacramento, which was really weird because I usually don't meet people from Sacramento in LA. Um, and it was funny because I said, uh, I, was, I was describing something, I was like, yeah, it's hella cool. And one of the people was like, oh, you're from NorCal? <laughs> and everyone kind of laughed in there because they all know, there was half the people there were from, from LA, and then I, I guess the other half were from Sacramento. But... Um, yeah, so it was cool. Uh, I did that, and then I watched a bunch of football, got some stuff done here, and cleaned up the studio, which has been needing to happen. And now today, I can, um, I'm posting a video on my main channel with the update of the space, which a couple of you guys have requested. And then um, I'm going to spend the rest of the day painting shoes. Days that football's on, I'm very productive because I sit next to the TV and paint shoes and watch football all day. I need to remember to turn this off when I record videos. I never do. Yeah, real quick, I'll, I guess I'll just talk about how the show went. I was just behind the bar the whole time, <laughs> trying to spend some time talking to people, but mostly just giving people the the juice to have fun. Um, and, I mean, regardless, I had a blast. I got to sit there and listen to the music the whole time. My favorite band, The Downtown Train, performed, um, and I actually got asked to be in another show of theirs on December 10th, which I'm considering doing. Um, it, it's, a, it's an art and music show as well. Uh, so... After that happened, um, the end of the night, I got to go around both nights and put on the headphones and listen to the art, and it was mm -hmm. entrancing. Um, I had a really good time. And the first night, it was cool. There's certain nights that I have experiences here where I feel like I'm going to remember it for the rest of my life, or like when I'm sitting on the porch when I'm 85 and sitting in a rocking chair drinking a bottle of Jack and uh, smoking a cigar and talking to my grandkids. Um, those nights are the ones where I feel like I'm going to be describing them because I have a really bad memory, but there's certain things that stick out in my mind. Friday night was one of them. I finally got to go party. So I got real drunk and went into, we have a, a room called an art carter room, which is, uh, you take these little cards and then you draw or like paint on them and then put them up on the wall. And it's this really cool experience for artists to have together because they all hang out together and usually they're drinking and so it's they're just being really social and then drawing together and most of the time people are saying hey you draw this I'll draw this and so I sat there with uh, my friend Ivana and we drew I drew the universe and then she drew she drew the flag for the universe and as we're sitting there um, I'm wearing my think tank shirt so people know I'm to it's to the point now where people know that I'm one of the co-founders be, because um, they've been here enough times and uh, people were coming up to me and wanting to talk to me and it's this weird it's really weird when um, you have a reason for people to respect you and they do and they treat you as such because they'll come up to you and they'll talk to you in a specific way and they expect you because you're in some position of power to I don't know, talk down to them or something, but I'm not like that. I just, I mean, I just, I, I think that everyone's on an equal playing field. And so I'll have these conversations with people and um, they end up being really good conversations because they come to me acting like I'm someone special and then I respond to them like I'm not. And um, then the conversations are really genuine after that. And I had a couple conversations like that with uh, the lead singers of a couple bands and, oh, this is your place. Oh, it's really cool. And then they want to kind of kiss your ass a little bit. <laughs> um, people who have never met you. And, uh, Usually, or other artists or, or whatever. Um, and there's some people who don't do any of the ass kissing. I mean, it's a natural thing. I do it. Everyone does it. But um, yeah, and then you just have the conversation with them. And you're just real and and uh, level with them. And I had a couple conversations like that, and I was just having a blast. I was hanging out with a bunch of friends, and we're all listening to music, and our show was finally done. It's one of those like all the weights off your shoulder type moments, and you're meeting a bunch of really cool people that you think are great talents and they respect you and you respect them and it's you know something great is kind of going to come out of it so I had a couple experiences like that and then um Sunday was just like chilling out watching football all day long and uh getting some stuff done and tonight 
the Bears and Eagles are playing, and I really, really love when I get the chance to root for a team that I don't get to root for usually because they're playing against the team that I love to root against. So uh, my friend Chris is a huge Bears fan, and I get to root for the Bears tonight because they're playing the Eagles. Although I watched Deshaun Jackson play at Berkeley for like two years, went to every single game, and um, I'm a huge Deshaun Jackson fan. It just really, really sucks that he went, for the, went to the Eagles. I hate Mike Vick, so I can root against him. But, man, Deshaun Jackson, what are you doing, man? Playing for the Cowboys. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm going to go. I have to finish um, putting this video together uh, for my main channel with the update of the space. And when it's up, I'll link it to you right here. Bye.